Andrew, our very own Google gadget guru, is back with one more piece of tech. Andrew, what have you got for us? Well, if you have a pet and you've ever thought that your pet was so photogenic that it should be on the walls of the museum. I think that's most owners. Yes, pets. for sure. Um, I've got something to show you. So, and to do that, I need help from my own very best friend, Bunter. <laughs> Hi, bud. Hi, Bunter. <laughs> Aww. So we have a brand new feature in the Google Arts and Culture app called Pet Portraits. And Pet Portraits lets you take a picture of your pet, and that can be a dog, a cat, a bird, a horse, a fish, or a reptile. And then if you take a picture, uh, the app will find doppelgangers of your pet from thousands of artworks uh, within the Google Arts and Culture app from our partners. OK. Can I see it in action? Yeah, sure. So if I open up the app, and then select the camera. And there's the pet portraits mode. So if I tap that, I get a picture of Bunter. <laughs> hey, bud. Get a picture. And there we go. Here's a picture of a Westie on a postcard, a photograph. Um, and then we also have, um, here is a painting, um, another drawing. Gosh, they're very different styles of artwork. Yeah, so it finds all kinds of artworks. And the artworks can be uh, photographs, uh, paintings, drawings. Um, so it's great. And then if you want to learn more about any of them, you just tap the artwork, and then you can see the title of the artwork, uh, where it's from, and then you can view it in more detail. Wow, so you can actually learn more about art through your pet. Yeah. Well, it's amazing to see this. It's even more amazing to meet Bunter, who is extraordinarily well-behaved. Thank you so much for bringing him in, and thank you for showing us this app. Yeah, no, it's been my pleasure. And Bunter, yes, Bunter, you've been a can very good boy. <laughs> I'm afraid not. <laughs>